The front of a Father's Day card sold at Target showed a black couple and the words Baby Daddy. Photo courtesy of Patrice Molnar Americans Greetings, Takesha Saunders was browsing the greeting card aisle at a Dallas area Target and began scanning the husband section. In the run-up to Father's Day, the shelves offered plenty of choice, cards with photos, cards without photos. Cards with white couples on the cover. And one card featuring a black couple over a silhouette of a black couple kissing were the scripted pink letters reading, Baby Daddy. Yeah, I'm not going to get that one, Saunders thought to herself, before going home, showing a picture of the card to her husband and posting it on social media. Her posts have since gone viral and raised broader questions about the derogatory nature of terms like baby daddy and baby mama to describe unwed black parents. Target and the card's designer, American Greetings, have since apologized and pulled the card from circulation. When I grew up, being a baby mama or a baby daddy was a negative thing, it wasn't something you wanted to be, Saunders told the Post. I still hold that to be true, I don't see my husband that way. American greetings and people responding to Saunders' posts pointed out that the inside of the car doesn't only speak to baby daddies. The instead read, you're a wonderful husband and father, and I'm so grateful to have you as my partner, my friend, and my baby daddy. Happy Father's Day. Courtesy of Patrice Molnar American Greetings, still, the shock factor of the cover stood out. Saunders' Instagram post about the card was tweeted by another woman who wrote that baby daddy was not a term of endearment, but rather an insult to black fathers and a slap in the face to the African American community as a whole. There are plenty of black men who aren't just baby daddies, but excellent fathers too," she wrote. The card was available in 900 Target stores and is now being manually removed from the shelves. Target's greeting card department has thousands of cards in rotation. And while the stocking of those cards is handled by card vendors themselves, Target gives the final approval. Last week, the big box store learned of Saunders' social media posts. That's when the company started working with the vendor, American Greetings, to pull the card from its shelves. We appreciate the feedback and apologize, Target spokesperson Joshua Thomas said in a statement. It's never our intent to offend any of our guests with the products we sell. Patrice Molnar, a spokesperson for American Greetings, said the card was created for and addressed to husbands, as shown by the inside message. However, we now see that the front page, taken out of context, can communicate an unintentional meaning that we are strongly against perpetuating and is not consistent with our company purpose and values, Molnar said. The card was sold in roughly 5,300 mass, drug and grocery stores nationwide, Molnar said, adding that retailers besides Target have been told to remove the card. This was the first time American Greetings Baby Daddy card went into circulation. Saunders said she never called for a boycott of Target or American Greetings and didn't even ask that the companies pull the card. But she hopes the card's insensitivity will bring attention to how difficult it can be for all groups to find merchandise that reflects their own lives. Beyond the Father's Day card, it took shopping at multiple stores for her to find a black doll for her young daughter, Saunders said. It's not just limited to that one product, she said. It's about inclusion. 
Read more. H&M apologizes for showing black child wearing a monkey in the jungle sweatshirt modeling racist of Ed says it was misinterpreted. I'm not a victim accused of racial profiling. Lowe's ends policy of checking customers' receipts as they leave bullies were shutting down America's lemonade stands. These lawyers work for Big Lemonade.